Okay, this is an example of the mean value theorem in a polynomial. So remember the criteria for the mean value theorem. Uh, and remember the mean value theorem uh, states that the, li the line drawn, the secant line drawn between two points, two points right there, the secant laundry, uh, line drawn between those two points, there should exist a, a point be between those two on the graph where this, the secant line will be parallel to the tangent line right here. The slope of the secant will be parallel uh, to the slope of the tangent. Um, and these will be the steps. So you have to do the, do the criteria check first. Is, is the function continuous? Well, this is a polynomial. So yes, is it differentiable? First of all, is it continuous on, on this interval? Yes. Is it differ, differentiable between those two points? Yes. And then now what you're have, gonna have to check for is, is there a point between here and here where the secant line could be parallel to the tangent line? So these are the steps. Find the secant, uh, find the two points, so plug three into this uh, polynomial and you get zero. Plug five into that polynomial, you get negative four. And then find the slope of the secant by negative four subtract zero, y subtract y over x subtract x, and you get negative four over two, which the slope of the secant line will be negative two. Then you're gonna set negative two equal to the derivative. So we have to find the derivative of this function. So the derivative of that function, well, the two would come down, that would be negative two x, and the derivative of a linear is just the slope. So we have that right there. And now we're going to set m secant equal to the derivative. So negative two, negative two equal to the derivative. We're gonna add two on both sides. So zero is equal to negative two plus eight. Factor out what they have in common. I'm going to factor out a negative two, which leaves x subtract four. And now we know what our x value should be. Our x value, where x is equal to four, well, Whatever x is, that's what the c will equal. So where x is equal to four, the tangent line at that point should be parallel to the secant line. And so here we have it. Here's the a, here's the b. And we drew the secant line between those two points. Now we're gonna take a line that's parallel Oh, look it, and it is tangent right there where the x value is four. All right, that's it for a polynomial. The next example that we're going to do in the next video is a rational function.